Police reform is sweeping through the Jackson Police Department aimed at avoiding deadly outcomes and building trust in police encounters with the public. 12 News' Alex Love spoke to the mayor about the changes. He's live outside JPD headquarters now. Alex? Melanie, Mayor Shokwe and Tarla Mumba issued this executive order last Friday. It outlines eight major changes he wants to see done in the police department to avoid confrontations escalating to where they're deadly. Earlier today, he spoke publicly about it for the first time. Uh, I think this is the tip of the iceberg. Joining many other cities around the nation, Jackson now forbids officers using chokeholds or any other actions limiting a suspect's breathing. There is no need to put a knee on someone's neck. Uh, there is no need uh, to choke someone. Uh, and so we believe that the act of creating community safety uh, can be accomplished without any of those things. In the new policy, officers must now intervene and immediately report to a supervisor when witnessing excessive force by a colleague. We've seen circumstances in our city, uh, but I believe that the George Floyd circumstance represents a seminal moment in the history of this country uh, in which people are demanding change that has been long overdue. The order goes on to forbid officers from shooting anyone without a verbal warning and exhaust all other options before resorting to deadly force. The Jackson Police Officers Association took issue with that in a statement, arguing when confronting an armed suspect, this is not a survivable tactic. The community is closest to the solutions. Uh, as we develop and hone more community policing and community engagement and community sensitivity, I think that uh, we will all reap the benefit in the end. The Jackson Police Association also pointed out the JPD forces over 95 percent black and no systemic racism should be used as a generalized label on the department. The mayor's executive order also forbids any officers from firing into a moving vehicle and any time there is force that is used or even threatened, it now must be extensively reported to a supervisor. Live outside JPD headquarters, Alex Love, 12 News.